Hello and welcome back to the Ultimate Guide to Command Blocks. In this episode we're having a look at using custom item data in Command Blocks. In particular we're going to be looking at the give command. So let's start off by running through the syntax of the give command. Firstly we have the give statement, then the player specifier, then the item ID, the amount we want to give, the additional damage value of the item, and then what's called the metadata. And that's the really interesting part. Now, that should all be quite familiar, but in case you're not aware of what the damage value is, it's basically an additional piece of data in Minecraft used to determine between different versions of leaves or logs or to keep track of the amount of times an item has been used. Anyway, let's get on to what this video is actually all about, and that's the metadata at the end of there. So, the general structure for this is the ideas of NBT data. Now in my ultimate guide to spawners I talked about NBT tags, so that sort of thing is really relevant here. But, the way it's organized here is through curly brackets to branch around menus. Now this may sound like utter nonsense at the moment, but in essence it's really quite easy to understand. Let's demonstrate this by actually having a look at some tags and comparing them to the command block form. So, in order to do this, I'm going to place an item I want to give in a chest in Minecraft. Then I'm going to hop on over into MC Edit and use various filters to add things such as names, laws, enchantments and attributes. You can find links to these filters in the video description. Then I'm going to load up TextLove's NBT Editor filter and open up all the branches. The area you want to focus on in the item tags is the tag that's appropriately labelled tag. As if it wasn't confusing enough already, I'm having to say the same word over and over again with different meanings. Anyhow, everything after this is what you'll be editing in the command blocks. As you can see, there are a bunch of tags that can branch off in various ways. Under the tag tag, we have attribute modifiers, displays, and inch. These are all pretty self explanatory, but the way you start writing them is you use initial give command and then a pair of curly braces and write the names of the tags you want to edit inside, separating them by commas. Now, to branch into these areas, you'll need a colon after the name of the area you want to branch into, and then another pair of curly braces. Within these, you arrange the tags that you want to edit in a similar way. So, for example, if I wanted to edit the display of an item, I'd first open up my curly braces and write display, then I'll put a colon, and then another set of braces. Then within that, I would write name and put the name of what I want to spawn in with. However, there are important things that you have to keep in mind. Everything is case sensitive, and anything you want to turn up in the game as a string of characters needs to be within quotation marks. Meaning after the name tag identifier, you have to have a colon and then the name within the quotation marks. Anyway, there is also another important syntax that needs to be taken into account. In order to explain what that is, I'll firstly tell you about the problem it's designed to solve. Basically, many tags in Minecraft take multiple inputs for the same thing, and it's not worth having a tag to account for all these possible values, especially seeing as some of these are practically limitless. These are called lists. An example of a list is the law tag. Each line of law is its own input, and they are stored in list format. The way you deal with this in command blocks is with square brackets containing strings of text separated by commas. Anyway. To be honest, that's pretty much all you need to know, because if you've paid attention, you should now have the tools to create your own codes. So, that's all I've really got for you today. If you want to see more, then feel free to check out my channel and subscribe, and I've got lots of content coming your way for the summon command and the tell war. But, I want to thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.